Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the how to validate the OTP verification via phone number with the Twilio. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we, here we are trying to just save the registration process. So just do the registration. OTP already sent. So I need to just clean the OTP. Refresh delete save okay now we are going to send the otp otp sent successfully let's have a look of that one refresh this so here you can see that the otp we have already received let's check the twilio account the otp i received or not i received the otp that is f369b5 the same one so i'm going to use this otp and let's do the verification of that one okay verify OTP account created successfully if I go and check over here here you can see that in the users table here I receive the OTP okay testing test 5 millinator this is my email now I can log in with this one okay just copy and sign in with email and the password and sign in logged in with testing two and the test 55 millimeter so here you can see that we have done this one so let's check what the phenomena that we have used for verification of the phone number okay so let's dive into the code level this is the ex this video is the extension of the previous video so make sure you have to watch my last two videos then you will come to know that how the modules have i have made out something right so let's go and check hide this so this is the project and this entity otp.js we have already discussed in the last video so make sure you have to watch the pre last video for that one okay then we have a users we have already discussed right so next we have the pages auth what we have done the extra one that is the send otp we have changed so here we have to let's have a look on that one this is the import section okay so previously we have sent the mail and now we have sent otp via mail and we have to verify the otp via email now we have done with the next one that is the phone number so twilio so here we require the account sid or token and the client so you will if you don't know how to get the account sid and the or token please watch my video to get this one right and after this we have to go with the next one that the require request body from the front end email method and the phone okay so here if we checking that the in the otp table that the email or you can check over here the phone that the phone is there or not right find by one so whatever phone you received check that the otp exists or not if not then we will go with process process with the next one that is generating the otp okay so we have to save this otp right and if there is an email then we will send this otp like this and if this the method is phone number then we have to send the otp like this and from we have to get the twilio phone number and to where to send this phone number make sure include the plus nine one country code for that one okay after this that otp sent successful else something went wrong this is send otp now we have to verify the otp okay after the otp verification we will remove the otp record from the otp table okay so here we are checking that the otp phone we have sent and the otp if it is validated then um, we will process that the then remove the otp and then we will check that user register successfully okay or the otp verified successfully then we will call the api of the registration right so registration process would be the same one as the previous video we haven't changed anything from this one so this is the full fledged the same thing that we have discussed in the last video nothing we have changed only we in the send otp we have to send the phone number previously we are sending the email so you have make make logic accordingly if the phone number is there you have to send the phone number if the preferred method is email then you have to send the email right okay and the rest of the method after the verification of the otp then we are going to register the user right so this is the logic that we have implemented rest of the things are the same totally nothing is changed over there right so you can check this one what else we have do the extra uh, send otp verify otp and uh, registration would be the same one nothing changed in the registration.js no nothing changed over here okay so the same thing so follow the previous video you will get to know that what we are trying to do right so 
in the next video we are trying to do with the forget password and the reset password so which is missing after that we are going to do with the two-factor authentication that is also missing so i we will use the two-factor authentication via the authenticator apps in the next years so these videos are missing so i will discuss the logics how we can implement because authentication is very very important so here i'm using the next auth for the email and the password login so make sure you have to watch the video and then you come to know how you can implement the forgot password reset password or you can see the verification of the otp okay so these things we have already complete cover in the in the lectures any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day